unveiling the mystery, possessed by spirits, explained. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English learning journey. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase that you might have come across in movies, books, or even everyday conversations, possessed by spirits. Understanding this expression not only enriches your vocabulary but also gives you insight into cultural references related to it. So, let's dive in and demystify what it means to be possessed by spirits. At its core, possessed by spirits refers to a condition or belief where a person is thought to be under the control of an external, supernatural force. These forces are often described as spirits, which can be entities from the afterlife, demons, or other non-physical beings. When someone is possessed, it is believed that their thoughts, actions, and behaviors are not their own, but rather influenced or directly controlled by these spirits. The concept of possession by spirits spans across various cultures and religions around the world. It has been documented in historical texts, religious scriptures, and folklore. In many traditions, possession is seen through a religious lens, with practices and rituals developed to exorcise or remove the spirits from the person's body. Interestingly, the interpretation of possession can vary significantly from one culture to another, with some viewing it as a curse, while others might see it as a form of divine intervention or communication. In modern times, the phrase, possessed by spirits, can be used both literally and figuratively. Literally, it still holds its traditional meaning in certain religious or spiritual contexts. Figuratively, however, it's often used to describe someone who is acting out of character, with extreme or unexplained emotion or energy. For example, saying an artist was possessed by the spirit of creativity, means they were deeply inspired or driven, not that they were literally controlled by a spirit. When encountering the phrase, possessed by spirits, it's crucial to understand the context in which it is used. Context helps determine whether the phrase is being used in a literal, cultural, or figurative sense. Paying attention to the speaker's tone, the subject being discussed, and the overall setting can provide valuable clues to its intended meaning. We hope this exploration of possessed by spirits has enlightened you and added a fascinating piece to your English language puzzle. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the stories, cultures, and emotions they convey. So, keep learning and stay curious. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.